The CDC just announced it will be extending the nationwide eviction moratorium through June 30th of 2021. The big question is, what does this mean for landlords and tenants across the United States? If you currently own a rental property in the United States, you are probably aware that on September 4th of 2020, the Centers for Disease Control ordered a federal eviction moratorium that was set to go until December 29th of 2021, then later extended until March 29th of 2021. Some big news was just released stating that this moratorium was just extended through June 31st of 2021. According to the National Association of Realtors, the moratorium prohibits housing providers from evicting but does not forgive the rent that is due. In fact, for tenants who have attested and received the eviction moratorium, a property owner or agent may change penalties, late fees, and interest per the lease. The CDC states that it is their right to enact this Public Health Service Act, which is designed to prevent the further spread of COVID-19. As with previous CDC orders, property owners can still evict tenants for other reasons, such as criminal activity, damaging property, or for violating other contractual obligations. We just released a video on Holton Wise TV titled Abandoned Dog Rescued by Bailiff at Eviction, where the tenant had caused significant damage to the exterior windows of the property. When eviction day came, the tenant had left their dog in the unit. Be sure to check that out for the full story. Other reasoning for evicting your tenant may include the following engaging in criminal activity while on the premises, threatening the health or safety of other residents, damaging or posing an immediate or significant risk of damage to the property, violating any applicable building or health codes, or by violating any other contractual obligations other than the timely payment of rent. According to the Chief Advocacy Officer of the National Association of Realtors, Shannon McGinn, NAR helped secure $25 billion in 2020 and another $21.55 billion earlier this month in federal rental assistance funding. This funding either went directly to mom and pop property owners who relied heavily on rental income, or it went to tenants who had fallen months behind on their rental payments, which would have resulted in an eviction the day the moratorium was raised. Looking to the future, the NRI states that we must continue to look for ways to protect tenants and property owners from further financial turmoil, while ensuring housing in America remains safe and stable for decades to come. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.